Christians whom you see today, you shall see no more forever. That area of your life where you say, oh, maybe the enemy just seems to have taken over. I don't think I can get there. I don't think I can move forward. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do it again. You know what? You're going to begin to say, wait a second here. That enemy that seemed to attack you, that enemy that seemed to be like an old wet blanket on top of you, throw off that spirit of fear. The Bible says put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Amen? The garment of praise. Crazy praise. Amen? I can't. Ch I challenge you. The value of praying in the Holy Spirit, the Bible says it will lift you up. It will lift you up. It will move you forward. It's standing on your most holy faith. And when you begin to do that, 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 that garment of praise will lift off that spirit of heaviness. And you'll be able to go out and do what God's called you to do because His Word will stand. His Word will move you forward. His Word will declare, this is the day that the Lord has made. His Word will declare that you have a successful Christmas. His word will declare that you have a successful 2015. His word will cause your life to not crumble away, to not wither away, to not back off, but move forward. Pretend you're in a football game. Don't take it. Don't just sit on the bench. Get out there and say, we're moving forward. We're getting over the finish line. We're crossing that finish line. We're going to see great things happen. Amen? Amen. And the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry at me? Tell the children of Israel to move forward. So you can, you can enjoy your Christmas, you can enjoy your Christmas season, but in your mind, look forward to 2015. In your mind, look forward to moving forward into all that God has for you. I'm believing for people in this church that, you know, there's sort of been a, a bit of a stagnation in regards to employment. You know, sometimes it's a little bit up and down, you know, and, and things like that. A number of people have talked to me about jobs that are sort of all over the place. We need to see that settled. We need to see that settled, and in 2015, people start looking forward to a wonderful future. We need to start seeing the things that, that have burdened people. We need to start seeing that cast off and not coming back. Mm -hmm. Amen? We need to see 2015 moving forward and seeing salvations and wholeness and people being filled with the Spirit and, and healing. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't just sort of wait and say, well, we'll, just, we'll, we'll get there when we, you know, let's start planning now. Amen? Mm -hmm. I want you to enjoy Christmas, but we need to plan. Because God's called us to move forward. God's called us to see the sweet salvation and victory. Amen? Amen. How many know the victory is ours? Amen. Amen? You've been watching today via YouTube. Uh, we want you to know that Jesus loves you. And if you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, you need to invite him into your heart. And you can simply do that through asking him to forgive you of your, all of your sin. Live in you and declare with your mouth that you're saved. Today is the day of salvation receive him. Amen. I'm just going to pray right now for everybody. Father, in Jesus' name, just corporately, Father God, as we gather as a congregation, I thank you, Lord, that your word has set us free. Lord, I thank you that your word has set us free. Whom the Lord sets free is free indeed. And Father God, I thank you that truth will raise big in our heart. And whom the Lord has set free, we're going to walk in that. We're going to enjoy it. And we, Father God, are going to see the salvation of our God daily in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Yes. yes.